You can use a number line for many things in math. Using a number line to graph an inequality can be helpful because it shows all the solutions to an inequality. I'll show you how to use a number line to graph an inequality. Let's start with the inequality x is less than 6. First, I need a number line that shows 6 and some numbers before and after 6. A number line from 0 to 10 will work. Next, I need to draw a circle on 6. Remember that an open circle means the point is not included in the solution. A closed circle means the point is included in the solution. The inequality symbol tells me which circle to use. If the less than or greater than symbol is used in the inequality, I use an open circle because the number is not included. If the less than or equal to or the greater than or equal to symbol is used, I use a closed circle because the number is included. The inequality contains a less than symbol, so I will draw an open circle on 6. It makes sense because if x is less than 6, it can't also be 6. Now, I need to draw a line with an arrow to graph the inequality. To graph x is less than 6, I draw an arrow starting at 6 and going to the left because numbers less than 6 are to the left of 6 on the number line. The arrow shows that the graph extends endlessly in that direction. So, what does this graph tell me? It shows that all of the numbers that are less than 6 are solutions to the inequality. I can test it by picking any number shown on the graph and substituting it for x in the inequality. Let's graph an inequality with a negative number. How would we graph b is less than negative 3? Graphing an inequality with a negative number is the same as graphing an inequality with a positive number. I draw a number line from negative 5 to 5. Then I draw an open circle at negative 3 to show it is not included in the solution. Then. I draw an arrow that extends to the left because numbers less than negative 3 are to the left of negative 3 on the number line. My graph shows that the solutions of the inequality are all less than negative 3. Let's try another one. 8 is less than or equal to m. To graph 8 is less than or equal to m, I make a number line from 5 to 15. Then, I draw a circle on 8. The circle will be closed because 8 is included in the solution since the inequality uses the less than or equal to symbol. Now, which way to point my arrow? 8 is less than or equal to m, which means that m is greater than or equal to 8. My arrow has to go to the right to show that the solution is numbers greater than or equal to 8. The inequality m is greater than or equal to 8 is the same as 8 is less than or equal to m. Both graphs are the same. I've got it down. Find the number, draw an open or closed circle, and draw an arrow to the left or right. Graphing inequalities is easy and is a great way to see the solutions.